Hi everybody! In this video log I'll show you how you can take your rather dull looking uh, prototypes of soft baits made in casting sand and uh, turn them into uh, beautiful lures like uh, this one. You can achieve this by painting them with normal uh, acrylic uh, airbrush paint and then giving them a coating of uh, soft plastic afterwards. For quite a while I've been considering how I could enhance my soft baits by painting them. Unfortunately the, the paint that will actually stay on the soft plastic is both uh, hard to get, rather expensive and very smelly. So I wouldn't be able to sit here in my office uh, painting like I normally use, would and uh, I would end up using quite a lot of money on the project. But after I've been playing around with the casting sand mold for a while, I thought that the rough and rather paper-like uh, surface of these lures would enable me to uh, paint them with the normal acrylic paint. The acrylic paint would of course uh, quickly dissolve when submerged in water, and to avoid this I would give them a coating of soft plastic. The big question would be if the, if the coating would actually stick to the body or just peel off after a few fish. I've already uh, tested the, the concept on uh, this lure and uh, I must say that so far the result is uh, quite promising. As you can see the, the lure has already had a few quite uh, deep battle scars and there's uh, no indication that the, the coating is uh, starting to peel off. The only thing that I'm not uh, fully satisfied with is that the, 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 the part of the coating that covers the, the 3D eye uh, isn't really sticking. And I think that uh, on my next lures I will just uh, paint the eyes with the airbrush in, instead of using uh, 3D eyes. Now I'll just uh, show you briefly how I paint these lures and then we'll go into the shit where I give it the, the, the soft plastic coating. The plans uh, for these lures is to make a round goby imitation on the, these two and uh, a pike imitation on the two green ones. And generally I will try to uh, use some templates that leaves uh, part of the body uh, uh, uncovered as uh, this will give uh, the coating some extra surface to, to hang on to if it has a hard time uh, sticking on to the acrylic paint. So prior to this I've uh, I've uh, washed them carefully in uh, dishwashing soap and uh, wiped them off in uh, alcohol to ensure that there's no uh, grease uh, left on the body uh, that will uh, ruin the, the acrylic paint. Well, let's get going. <laughs>
Well, I finished painting the 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 soft baits, and we've uh, moved out into the shed. Um, I've placed the the soft baits in the oven uh, to heat them up to about uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, this will ensure that um, the coating uh, sticks uh, better to the surface, as well as uh, the coating being as uh, thin as possible. Apart from that, I'm heating up a big bowl of uh, of soft plastic in the microwave, and as soon as it's ready. I will uh, do the um, the dipping of uh, the lures. Well, then it's just a question of dipping it just quickly to prevent it from uh, from melting again, and then up and let it drip off. And as soon as I feel that that uh, most of the um, the extra soft plastic has dropped off, uh, I will uh, put it into water to ensure that it hardens uh, quickly. So just. Dip. Just see if we can get most of it off here. Like that, I think. And uh, one last drop, like this. And then I put it into water. Like that. And we'll take a look at that later. Now I will continue with the rest of them. Just drop this in as well. Well, the, the lures are finished now, uh, have cooled down and um, I think the result is quite nice. Uh, it's not perfect, but uh, still uh, the, 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 the shads have been enhanced uh, quite well by, by the new colors. And um, I think that um, these will do quite fine. Actually, I'm going uh, test fishing already tomorrow, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to include some uh, pictures of uh, pikes uh, caught on these. Um, otherwise, I will have to use some footage from uh, from the other time when I used the other one. So, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you see me soon. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see what this is. Not a big fish, but... Not a small one either. Not that eager to get in here.
Nice little fat fish. Let's see if we can get it. That's a nice fish. Very nice condition on this one. Let's see if we